but will he be a Chicago Blackhawk at the end of the year? You got Francois, who didn't start the season with the Avalanche, comes on his last five games. He's five and zero oh since returning from an injury. In the National Hockey League, it's given up for Nachushkin. Works his way in. Bell shoots and is saved by Flurry. He just got a piece of that puck with his catching glove. Well, you love to see Nachushkin flying in like that. He's just so hard to handle. Redirected wide, Burakovsky, and now to freak it as Lafferty bangs it ahead. Jonathan Tate with a centering pass out in front, saved by Francis. My goodness, Calvin DeHaan was left all by his lonesome and Taves with a perfect feed to the low slot for Ensos. Last game, but here's their chance and walks into the zone. The Avalanche are changing. Most Avs were changing and is jumping up into the play. Taves turns to Blackhawks, Jonathan, and looked and he was like, what? I said, I can't believe it. And all of a sudden, Chicago gets... How good was Kemper to get a win? He was fantastic. And Francois had to be great just a moment ago. Filtered off the far side. Poked at by Newhook. It gets free. Back to Kale. Throws it behind the avalanche net. His team's poked at it. Comes to Lafferty. Back to Murphy at the point. He'll walk and shoot. Blockered away by Pavel Francois. Now to Brinkin trying to find his captain. That's cut off by EJ. Good. Shot there by Murphy and it got through and a save by Fred. So Murphy at the point, nowhere to go but back down deep as it swipes right through Carpenter. Blackhawks with some good energy. There's Borkman to give it up and a broken stick. And here comes Alex Newhook. He'll race into the Chicago zone. Has O'Connor with him and he shoots and a save by Fleur and he'll hold on. We've got no scored ball arena and they're early going. Abs and Blackhawks. Down low, never got through to Fleury. Maltz it up, spins it off, Gerard tees it up, and saved by Flurry. Doc trapped right at the hatches as the abs collapsing upon him. The abs with four shots, one of them right here. Sammy Gerard and is saved by Flurry. Here's Eric Johnson, kicks it up for Maltzev, who is calling for that puck. Puts it down deep, oh, make you bound and a save by Flurry as he sprawled out. Mark andre Fleury, effective but always dramatic, and that was a terrific save there. He's still got that part of his game, Pete. He missed all of last season and has not had the kind of year that he'd hoped for. Yeah, there's very interesting surrounding not playing last year, and you're right, offensively it just hasn't. But what a play because Patrick Kane was in a perfect spot. Left-handed shot, he was just waiting for that puck. No hook. Try to give it back, deflected wide there by O'Connor. Back through Murphy, up and out. Apple want to hurry if they can get a change to break it. Right back up the middle, steers it for Taves. Dropped at the point, and there's Murphy again. Saved by Francois, and he'll gobble that puck up underneath his catching glove. We've seen a couple of those plays, though. Caught it. Oh, boy, Taves got knocked down, Pete. Saved by Francois. Yeah, it's a difficult club to sort of figure out right now. I'll let you... Goal line extended. Flipped out in front and it went over the stick of Doc. Tried to baseball bat it out of midair. Very close call. Drops it off. McDermott into the circle. A drag move and a shot blocked. Another shot. What a kick save by Flurry. Nachushkin tried to follow up. Scooted the head by McCain. Taves. Throws it far aside. Quick shot and a glove saved by Francois. Very cat-like reflexes by the Avalanche netminder. Here comes Cavery back in. A wrist shot wide of the net. Picked up by Taves. No centering pass. Give it up top. And a wrist shot saved by Flory. Rebound lays in the slot. And McCabe is there to bat it up the boards. Of oh, Lafferty. He'll dump in and get chase. Centering pass. Jonathan Taves. And a save by Francois. Terrific job by Francois to wait out the Chicago captain. Landeskog works it back to McKinnon. A quick shot saved by Flurry. Thought the McKinnon might have gotten hooked there on his way through the circle. As the last rush, trying to make something happen. Miko tried to throw it on net. Deflects off for Kadri. Turns it down deep. Saved by Flurry. Rebound saved by Flurry at the horn. He kept the left pad down right by the post and able to deny the abs. I really love that graphic too. 141 to go here on the power play for the Abs. It's their first of the contest, but the Blackhawks win the draw. Here are the Geico stats for bundling made easy.
go to Geico.com. Should tell you the abs have so far one shot on goal in his power play chances. McKinnon was trapped, backhand shot, saved by Fransos, and the abs turned it over along their own end board. Kale McCarr looking at his left skate. What play typifies kind of how the Avalanche are nonchalanting things right now. This would be it. I mean, Chicago. Here comes the burst. Landis got cutting through the circle. Miko with a shot. Blocker saved by Flory. And Ranton had caught him leading the wrong way. Play that's up and down. Disjointed a little bit. There's a quick centering pass. Flory got run into. He had to dive. Johnson with a shot. Oh, no. It hit Flory. He got back on one leg and it hit him. And a penalty is coming up. Oh, my goodness. Penalty coming up. 13.25 to go here. Period number two. We've got no score at Ball Arena. Set to McKinnon. He's the one that just came out of the ice. Bumps it for Jack Johnson. He'll walk in and shoot. Saved by Flurry. Rebound saved by Flurry. And he's got it in his catching glove. Gets in front of Jones. Forces Jones to pull him down. Here's the opportunity for the Avalanche. And now. Far side lane to Scott. Back to McCard goes. 35 seconds to go in the power play. McKinnon. The Cadre with the turnaround. Save rebound. Score! It's squeaked through Flory. Cadre's going to get the power play goal. The Avs have a 1 0 lead. The rebound just flopped into the slot, or excuse me, into the crease. Round for Kadri. This is a big one. He had a big goal last game that was called back. Remember, Moj, when it, it was 2-1, to one, it would have made it 3-1. to one. It was offside just a little bit, but he gets back on track with a huge power play goal for the Avalanche tonight. Because everybody's yelling at you, but for some reason, this guy bugs Sullivan. And then for it to turn around and get him right in the beak. And Sully to be able to go back and just give it to him. Here's Miko Randon to bust that one down the right wing. That puck bouncing right on top of the boards. Taves in a wrestling match with Lafferty. Landis Gog centering up. Miko, patient. He scores. Miko Rantanen waits, waits, waits. And then the move flips it over the top of Mark Andre Fleury to give the Avs a 2 0 lead. And he took his time to get it done. Moj, the key is he took the extra step right there. One, wait, 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 and then up and over. Because by that time, things start to drop with your Flory. Watch, he's got stuff that's up there for a while, the leg, the glove. And that's the, that's back in the day, Pete, when you could have that. McCarr steers it off McKinnon. Dancing, turning, and shooting, saved by Flory. And lines would be together, Peter, back in the day. It just can't be that way anymore. But yeah. we have lines that would skate with each other for... Oh, Landeskog got up and got on it. Comes to Miko. He'll look down the slot. Shoots. Oh, it was cut off. I can't believe it. Fed up top tapes. Finds Landeskog. Well, now it's kind of an interesting situation. We're kind of laughing at this last play. Okay. Looking. Holding. Steers it off. And that's going to do it. The save made by Fransos at the left side of his crease. His second shutout of the season.